I want to start this video off with sort of a disclaimer. Nowhere in this video am I advocating or defending, by any stretch of the imagination, any of Vitaly's, mm, I guess you could say, main attraction in his videos. And that'll become apparent the more we talk about him. I just wanted to get that out of the way. So before you type up a whole essay in the comments, maybe just wait, watch the video, and, and, and you know, form your opinion by the end. This video is going to be making the point that Vitaly needs to be the example for what the future of Kick is going to allow on their platform. Because if it's this, well, there are going to be some dangerous things that have the very high likelihood to happen within the future of Kick, and I'll get into some of that. First, I just want to kind of educate you on what I'm talking about as a whole and Vitaly's new type of content. Now, I mean this fully. Uh, he is a one-of-a-kind creator, and especially the content that he's coming out with now, you're not going to find anywhere else. We got one of the professional guys here, so this is crazy. We're bringing you on in every episode. Um, do you have HIV? No. True. Are you attracted to kids? No. No. Are you attracted to kids? No. No. Are you attracted to kids? No. Keeps exploding. Are you, are you attracted to kids? No. No reason to ask it anymore. I have to, he's exploding. Why were you meeting a 15 year old boy tonight? Here you go. Here you go. Drink it. Do not spit. There you go. Don't spit. Drink it. Chug it. You're such a fucking battle. Oh, you ready for this? Fuck! Take off your pants. I'm gonna fuck you right now. Oh, yes! Take them on! Let's fuck! In front of everybody! You wanna put on the show? Come on! Let me suck the dick! Come on! You will never do this again. I'm warming up for Jerome, because there you're gonna get an 18 inch. Ready? Ping, ping! Ding, ding. Look at this fucking. Oh, I'm looking for like the secret one. Got, like, a different app, Come here, don't go against the wall. Come on, guards up. Cover your face. I'm done. I want you to unlock this. Give me your face. Give me your face. Now you may be wondering what is going on in those chaotic clips. Well, basically, Vitaly has a small team of predator hunters, similar to like Chris Hansen's watchdog group, right? We're basically the same shtick. They'll pose as an underage person, and then they will go out and meet with the person. That's when Vitaly will come out and, you know, say, hey, we know what you're trying to do here. But it's not quite that simple, as typically with Vitaly, there are a slew of different circumstances that, that come after they expose the PDF file, including some clips that I'll show you here. Oh, oh, oh go ahead, but on your knees and loud and look into the camera. Whoa, 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 whoa. How there? Whoa. Aggressive pitbull. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we good? Permission to shave my head and eyebrows. For what? Because I was talking to an underage team. Okay. This is what you do to pedos. Never talk to an underage kid ever again. Okay, yeah. You look perfect. And this is what you do, okay? Now, there's a couple clips, including, like, them doing a lie detector or making the guy bark. Those, I think, are funny. These PDF files are trying to do very malicious and disgusting things, and that, I think, is pretty funny. And you know what? If he wants to keep making content like that, by all means, I'm here for it. But there is a much darker side to these clips, as sometimes when they meet up with these uh, estranged individuals, things can very quickly go downhill. Now, as you can see, he's not quite the Skeeter Gene or the Chris Hansen, as some of these PDF files get very roughed up, slapped, 
slapped around, pulled around, chased down, etc. Just before we get into anything further, I have no sympathy for them, I have no remorse for them. Vitaly, you should make your own website like you had in the past, Vitaly Uncensored, and do all this on that website because, you know what, I'd pay the five bucks a month for that because I don't think these people deserve the ground that they walk on. They are scum and should typically be treated as such. Now, before I get some comments about, oh my god, you're defending pedos or whatever, I'm really not. My point that I'm trying to make here is the content that's being put out will lead to more dangerous stuff. For an example, we can already see people like Kizzy No Cap or whatever his name is. That's like a very young streamer that's trying to be the neons and whatever. That's, that's being a nuisance. And even the proof lies in one of Vitaly's old streams. A predator that he found was knocked out by a stream sniper or a stranger that saw the stream, ran up, and, you know, punched this guy. Which, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Props to the guy. He did, he did, he did a good thing, in my opinion. However, it would be so ignorant to try to make the argument that this isn't gonna lead to worse things. Here's a clip that specifically gathered my interest because could you imagine if this man was armed? Now, yes, he's a creep, he's a predator. If this man had a gun on him while Vitaly was chasing him down, I can't imagine a scenario where he wouldn't be able to legally say, I felt threatened for my life and he could just shoot Vitaly right in the mouth. And I couldn't imagine a jury that wouldn't side with that because if a man that's buff and bigger than you is chasing you down, that's kind of why we have the amendment to stand our ground, right? Oh, are they on their way? I'm gonna fucking knock you out right now. I'm gonna fucking knock you out Don't right talk now. Talk to me. I'm gonna fucking knock you out hey, right now. Me. You fucking. No, 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 no. You're not fucking going nowhere. Hey. You're not always gonna fucking help you. Leave no. Alone. What are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it, you motherfucker? What are you gonna do about it, huh? Ah! You ain't gonna do shit! What you gonna do about it? You bitch! You're a fucking bitch! Don't touch it! You. You're a bitch! Oh, don't walk into me! Call, call the cops! You're cruising for a bruising, brother! You help fucking me. got caught! Yeah, help him! You got caught with 300 inch oh, fucking oh. kids! Just say, get away! I'm not touching you! Get away from here! Oh, right what now. you gonna do? Get away! Get out of my space! What's you gonna do? Get out of my space! Right what's you gonna Oh, yeah? You just fucking smacking? You just Mother fucking smacking? You just fucking hit me first. You oh, hell. insulted me. I saw you touch him first. I want the police to have to pressing charges. Yeah. He's, he's alleging that he's hit him in the face. I did not hit him in the face. Oh, that's wrong. Um, just letting you know what's out there, okay? Well, I did not hit him so, in the face. So, that's, I mean, and if it is, it is, it's, it's, it's a battery. You go, you can process, and you'll be out. Similarly, while it's not just direct violence like slapping them around, there's a lot of clips of Vitaly's posse holding a predator, making them sit in a certain spot, using forms of restraint, putting them in cars, and yes, they have the technical choice because Vitaly's like, you do this or we're going to call the cops. Technically, yes. However, I don't imagine that at least some of them won't be like, it was entrapment, I was false imprisoned, I was kidnapped, and there might be juries that do side with these individuals. In my honest opinion, and this is the controversial turn of the video, I guess. I don't think Vitaly or his team, especially that, that younger skinny dude, I don't think that they care about predators. I don't think they care about stopping predators. I think what they're doing is a very popular strategy amongst all streamers and, and content creators, and that's called clip farming. Basically what clip farming is, is exactly like it sounds. You get segments in your stream that make prime time clips for TikTok, YouTube, whatever, and that's how you go viral. For example, and obviously they have no correlation to Vitaly or the predator or anything like that, but Jinxy, Sketch, Queso, that whole crowd, they are very smart at what they do, and they have regular streams where they play games, but they design a lot of the pieces of the streams to be clip farms, to go on TikTok, to go on YouTube, to be reposted and reposted. They know what they're doing, and it's very smart. I think Vitaly is doing the same thing, just on a much more extreme degree. Now, where is my solid proof that I think Vitaly should be banned from Kick? Well, it's in Kick's community guidelines. I'm recording this May 5th, and as of right now, if you search Kick Community Guidelines, these are the active guidelines, and they will be down in the description if you want to look for yourself. The one that I am most interested in is violence and hate speech under guideline number two. There is no violence or hate speech allowed on Kick. We are committed to fostering a diverse and respectful community. We strictly prohibit unwanted and intentional violence, and we do not allow our platform to be used for hate speech. Creators and chatters who engage in or promote violence or hate-based speech through slurs or recognized hate speech language will face enforcement actions. Violence can occur in a variety of ways. It may or may not include the use of weapons, but often leads to injury or harm. Dangerous competitions, dares, or pranks can lead to violence. 
I don't know if I really need to tiptoe spell this out for you, but there is clear violence in Vitaly's streams. Now, outside looking in, I know what it sounds like before these Jimmies get in the comments and start talking about how I'm defending PDF files or whatever. Like, why would I want Vitaly banned? Well, I think that if Vitaly keeps this action up where he's doing these very reckless things in front of his probably mostly teenager to kid audience, that they're going to try stupid stuff just like this. And it will result in somebody getting irreversibly hurt or some kind of irreversible damage like I said I stand for what Vitaly is at least claiming to be doing I just think there is a right way to do things and a wrong way to do things and yes while I will have to admit it's very entertaining I think it is the wrong way to go about these things